when you used to bully me and harass me every single fucking day because of my fucking appearance. And, 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 and now you want to act like, oh, yo, like, bro, how, how's it going, bro? Huh, do you remember when you used to go to high school? Yes, I fucking remember. I'll never fucking forget. Yo! What is going on, guys? It's Nicholson, and I'm back again with another video, bro. I hope you boys are doing good, and girls too, because I know there's, there's a couple girls, about 7% of you are like, oh, good. I hope you guys are doing good too, you know what I'm saying? Today is a very, very exciting topic, man. Success is the greatest revenge you can get. Success is actually the greatest revenge you can get. This is actually, this brings a smile to my face because I don't know if you guys have seen the video that's surfacing around, uh, going around right now, of Michael B. Jordan and the girl that used to go to high school with him that was interviewing him. So essentially, if you guys don't know what happened, I'm gonna break it down to you. Michael B. Jordan, you guys know Michael B. Jordan, is right? The guy from Black Panther. You don't even need me, need me to tell you, right? Anyways, Michael B. Jordan. So he was getting interviewed by this girl that he went to high school with and this girl used to bully him she used to tease him because she was part of the cool kids club right and they used to all tease him because he's, he was called michael jordan and obviously he's, he's not he, at the time he wasn't he wasn't famous or anything he's just a regular guy with the name michael jordan and they used to tease him because of his name because they thought he was corny and all this shit right now the nigga ain't forget the nigga michael b jordan ain't forget bro like he was like okay cool say nothing you should have seen the look he gave her, bro. You know what I'm saying? The look he gave her was just like, oh my goodness. As if I bombed into you. As if I bombed into you. The way he looked at her like, who's corny now? Look at me now. You know? And that brought a smile to my face because I relate so much to that situation. Like, the amount of times, yeah, I used to get bullied in high school. People used to, because I used to be obese for you guys who don't know, back in high school, right? I was really, really obese, and a lot of people used to victimize me. They used to literally bully me. They used to grab my chest because I used to have, like, mom beans, right? They used to grab my chest, squeeze my chest all the time. They used to call me all sorts of names. I was a victim, right, when it came to the bullying, right? Now, ultimately, it made me into a stronger person, but honestly, it fueled me into wanting to improve, just so I can prove all these haters wrong. You feel what I'm saying? The power of revenge is unrivaled i didn't want to get revenge like oh do what they did to me to them i didn't want to do none of that shit i just wanted to say okay it's cool you think i'm pathetic you think i'm fat you think i'm this say less let me fucking show you who i am let me show you who you're dealing with because clearly you don't fucking know right so i worked with myself i grinded and i stayed patient for years and then when the first time i bumped into a person who used to do that shit to me though like speechless they all have the same look they all look at you the same. They're all like, shit, I can't say shit to you now. Right? I can't say shit to you now. And the weirdest thing is, I never wanted revenge as in like, oh, like I, I, like I want you guys to fail in life and all this shit. No, I just wanted to say, listen, you thought this of me. Let me show you how wrong you were. Right? And a lot of people now, like one of the one, one, one of the things you need to realize, yeah, people, people have a selective memory when it comes to this kind of shit. It's like it's like they, they remember a different version of, 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 of events. Some of them even act as if you used to be buddy buddy. Even though they used to bully you, they did they didn't accept you, they didn't like you. And then they're gonna, they're gonna try and act like the buddy buddy with you. They're gonna try and act like you used to be friends all the time and everything was dandy. When you used to bully me and harass me every single fucking day because of my fucking appearance. And, you, and, and, and and now you want to act like, oh, yo, like, bro, how, how's it going, bro? Huh, do you remember when you used to go to high school? Yes, I fucking remember. I'll never fucking forget. You know? And some of them might even, even, even have the nerve to DM me and be like, oh, yo, bro, we should go train together. Fuck you. I believe we should go train together. When you used to squeeze my fucking chest and say, oh, look, is milk going to come out? When you used to do that shit to me, did you want to train then? Did you? Success is the greatest revenge you can ever get on your doubters, on your haters, on the people who used to bully and harass you. Success is the greatest revenge you can get on them. If an ex cheated on you, yeah, happen to me. If friends betray you, happen to me. Any situation like that, success is the greatest revenge you can get on them. Work on yourself, grind, be patient. Because trust me, the day will come when they look at you and like, Fuck, man. I fucked up. Damn fucking right you fucked up. Because you didn't know who the fuck you were messing with. 
But anyways, when I saw that Michael B. Jordan video, I was like, yo, I feel exactly the like because most people, yeah, they think, why is he looking at it this way? Oh my god, is that they don't understand the pain we have to go through. They don't get it, bro. They don't get it. They just see when you when you lack perspective of of how somebody was treated. You will think like, oh, this guy's doing the most. Why is he looking at it this way? Why is he doing that? Bro, you were not there when he was harassed, when he was bullied. You don't know you, you didn't care how he felt back then. You didn't care how he felt. Most of the people become hyper successful. Look at David Goggins. Look at all these people. They went through very painful teasing and bullying and victimization. They went through very rough childhoods because of people who used to think they were better than them, right? And now that people are good, people are saying, all of a sudden, motherfuckers don't remember. All of a sudden, I oh, I don't know. All of a sudden, oh, shit. Was high school really that bad? Oh, my God. Like, like as if you don't fucking know. Which, which, which is what makes me mad. You know? So for any of you guys who you get bullied repeatedly in high school every day, because I, I trust me, I've been there, bro. Just thinking of it now just makes me mad. It just makes me like, oh, fun. But listen to me, yeah? Your time will come. Success is the greatest revenge. I'm gone. Don't forget to like the video, fam. I love you lot, man. You know what I'm saying? Hit your goals. Grind. and Stay down until you come up, man.